with the area's certified, most accurate forecast six years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Sunshine now making a return along the lake shore, and that is warming up areas such as Manitowoc and Sheboygan this afternoon. Right now as you look outside on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera in Manitowoc, uh, some waves at times crashing along the western shore of Lake Michigan. 84 right now in Manitowoc, and you can see that sunshine has now returned. Now as we make our way up into Sturgeon Bay, still some cloud cover and cooler temperatures up that direction. 78 at the moment in Sturgeon Bay, 80 in Green Bay, 86 in Fond du Lac and in Sheboygan, 87 in Iron Mountain. And we have some lower 80s from Appleton, Oshkosh and areas back off to the west as well. The real heavy heat is just off to our south where temperatures are in the mid to upper 90s, even 100. The current air temperature down in Wichita. Eventually, we will have some warmer 90s uh, make their way to the state of Wisconsin tomorrow before a nice stretch of more comfortable air returns late this weekend and into much of next week. And so we had the showers and a few storms early this morning. Still a little band of cloud cover across portions of eastern and central Wisconsin, keeping our temperatures in check throughout much of the day today. But where the sunshine has returned, as we just saw, the temperatures now in the mid 80s. We're expecting high temperatures in the low to even mid 90s tomorrow afternoon, but you combine that with the high humidity and it will feel like the triple digits tomorrow afternoon. And because of that, there's a heat advisory in effect for a good chunk of northeastern Wisconsin and areas further to the south. That goes into effect Friday morning and runs until 7 o'clock Friday evening. Now, as you look at a larger view of the satellite and radar, things for the most part fairly quiet across the state and a few very light rain showers off to the north and west. It's areas across southeastern Minnesota and western Wisconsin. We're watching very closely late tonight for redevelopment of more showers and storms that could move in by early tomorrow morning across portions of our area. So as you look at future casts over the next several hours, things will be uh, fairly quiet, but it's mainly after midnight. Notice some of these showers and storms developing, some of which could bring some very heavy rain across the area. And then we'll see that activity start to wrap up as we head through the morning hours on Friday. Tomorrow afternoon then looking quiet, but here's the problem. We get back into a good amount of sunshine. Temperatures will get awfully warm tomorrow afternoon. And then here comes our next round of showers and storms already by Friday evening and from the north and west. Those will move through during the late evening and early overnight hours on Friday. Some of those once again could bring some very heavy rain and some very strong winds as well. And then we're looking at more potentially scattered showers and thunderstorms with the potential for heavy rain throughout the day on Saturday. Is your forecast for tonight? We could have those showers and storms mainly after midnight. It will be muggy with low temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And for your Friday, hot and humid will have heat index values over 100 degrees. Here's a look at how high those heat index values could be by tomorrow afternoon and evening. Many of us looking at the triple digits. Here's your seven day planner. Scattered showers and storms high of 83 on Saturday, cooler and less humid on Sunday. A nice day on Monday with a high near 78 and temperatures a few degrees on either side of average throughout much of next week. The latest forecast updates can be found on our Facebook page as WFRV Local 5. All right, we thank you so much, Chad. Right now